This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with the weather. Mark. Well, Dean, what we're looking at here is a better firefighting situation than we were 24 hours ago. Moisture is coming in behind a cold front, so that's starting to juice up the atmosphere a little bit more. We'll see a chance at storms throughout the area tomorrow, even over the fire zones as well, but especially southeast and east central sections of the state. Coming into Wednesday and especially Thursday, some drier air starts to push its way in, so we'll see a reduction in the showers. And by Thursday and Friday, no showers at all, mainly dry conditions with some gustier winds. So fire crews have a couple days to make some progress. All right, Mark, thank you. Now, a recap of today's big story the not so little Little Bear Fire. It has burned 35,000 acres near Ruidoso, and at least 35 structures have been destroyed. Crews can't get into the burned area just yet, so that number is expected to go up dramatically. We were allowed up near the fire lines today to get a closer look at what firefighters there are up against. That fire, 0% contained. As for the largest fire in state history, it is now 37% contained. The Whitewater Baldy Complex fire in the Gila has burned 278,000 acres and 12 structures in the Willow Creek area, but for now, no other areas are being threatened. The number of crews working that fire has been cut nearly in half. Still, there is high heat and low humidity in the area. APD says there have been 150 reports of thieves targeting cars left stranded on the side of the road, so they set up a sting this weekend, and sure enough, two men took the bait. Police put the bait car on I-25 near Rio Bravo in the middle of the day Saturday. Two hours later, William Platero and Frisco Begay stripped the SUV of its tires and wheels. Then police say they turned around and tried to sell them to Victor's Tire Shop on West Central near 50th. How can you tell if they're stolen or not? Uh, they, I don't know if they're stolen or not. Now, before Martinez could even consider a sale, police swept in and arrested Platero and Begay. The duo admitted to stealing tires off at least four other broken down cars. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.